This last week, I had the very pleasant opportunity to visit an Orthodox women's monastery in New York, where our Christ the Bridegroom community are on an extended visit. When I returned home, I was greeted by a publication of St. John's University School of Theology, which included an article about what is called a new monasticism. The following are some of my less than well-developed thoughts gained from my visit and from reading this article. The new monasticism is a movement of, quote, intentional Christian communities, unquote reminiscent of the communes of the 1960s. They have adopted language from traditional monasticism, but little else. Most of what they term marks of this movement should actually describe our parishes. For example, hospitality to the stranger, submission to Christ's body, the church, fostering community and support for singles and married living relatively close together, commitment to prayer and worship, opportunity to be separate from worldly cares. In contrast to this was the monasticism I experienced in New York. This form of life is quite countercultural, set miles away from what someone once called the, quote, world of what's happening now. The nuns have welcomed a form of life that could not be adopted by most, but that should be a model for the rest of us. The separation from the worldly and contact with the earthly, which we all experience during divine services, allows for an intimacy with the divine and with the whole of his creation. The walls of their cloister are solid but porous, allowing them to shut out worldly cares while permitting their life to influence the lives of all. Sister Christine Vladimirov asserts that a monastery should be a clear and radical model of the reign of God that is emerging in the midst of the world. Having focused on marriage last year, the kingdom of God, especially from the focus of monasticism, will be our eparchy's theme this year. In our Our Father, we pray, Thy kingdom come, but also, for thine is the kingdom. The kingdom is already here, but not fully. We'll continue to rely on our nuns and monks to help us to know how to help build God's kingdom in the family, in the parish, in society at large.